dum de 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 dum Hello there Whipplings and once again welcome back to another mod showcase. Today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Gravity Mod and this mod enables you to manipulate gravity in Minecraft and I lied a bit in the intro there because it's not just one mod it's actually just two mods which have mixed together because they're pretty similar in what they do and what they achieve. So I'm going to start off by showing you a mod called the Gravity Controller mod which adds two clock shaped items into the game as you can see in my inventory here that enable you to manipulate gravity in very weird ways. So I'm just going to start off with this item here called a low gravity controller and I'll show you how you can craft this so you craft it with four gold ingots, four ender pearls and then a diamond in the center like so and instead of having a clock hand there we've got a letter L uh, and to actually use this all you need to do is hold it in your hand and then right click to enable it and then again if you want to disable it all you have to do is hold it in your hand and right click again. Uh, but what this does, I'm just going to jump now, wait let me just activate it, uh, and when you jump you can see it gives you a slight jump boost effect. This isn't anything you couldn't already obtain using a jump potion, uh, but this is permanent so it's always active as long as you just right click with this clock item in your hand. And the neat thing about this is it affects every single mob in the game. So while it's active I can punch a pig to make it jump and you can see that pig has jumped a little bit higher than it usually would and now it's glitched in the ground. Oh dear, uh, you're not a worm pig, what are you doing? You're, you're not a worm, why are you trying to hide in the ground? Look, look at the top of its head just poking out there. Oh dear, okay, this mod is a bit glitchy. It seems like any mobs that are being impacted by it start walking in the ground like this. Look at that pig. It thinks it's a worm. Anyway, completely off topic there. I was just looking at a worm pig. Uh, so pretty much what it does is it just gives you gravity as if you were on the moon. You can jump slightly higher and you can get a little bit more distance off when you jump uh, while sprinting. So you can see I'm sprint jumping and I'm making about 10 block jumps instead of the usual five, which is quite neat. And I think it does make you jump twice as high. So what I'm going to do as a test, I'm just going to put two blocks on each other. And yeah, I can jump up two blocks now instead of one. It pretty much doubles your jumping height. Uh, but now we're going to move on to the more fun gravity controller item, which is simply called the gravity controller. And this one is crafted again with four gold ingots, a diamond in the center, but instead of using ender pearls, we're going to need eyes of ender, which is a bit of an upgrade. These are quite difficult to obtain, so yeah, you're going to have to get four of these, and then you can craft the slightly upgraded version of the low gravity controller, which is simply called the gravity controller. But yeah, once you've crafted that, again, all you have to do to activate it, and we just deactivate this one, is right click on it. But before we activate this, there's one important item that I do need to show you. Uh, and that is called the Gravity Anchor. And this stops you being affected by this Gravity Controller. And you'll see why uh, you need to craft this in a bit when I activate this. But anyway, to craft a Gravity Anchor, you're going to need two obsidian blocks and then three blocks of iron there. And then you get something that looks like an anchor. And bear in mind, whenever you have this item in your inventory, uh, you're going to get this slowness effect. Let me just hide the GUI here. So you can see we've got a slowness effect, which is permanent. So we walk a bit slower than usual, uh, but it does save you from dying of full damage. Uh, because when you activate this item, what it does is it inverts gravity for the whole world. So instead of being pulled down towards the Minecraft world and the ground, uh, like you'd usually expect, it inverts the gravity. So instead you're pulled up into space, into the sky, into the heavens, whatever you want to call it, you just float way up up there and it never stops. I mean it never stops. You just keep going up and up and up and up. There's no limit to how high you'll go. So I'm just going to activate it now and now you're going to see why I put the terrible pun in the title. I'm so sorry for that. I'm, I just love these puns. Anyway I'm just going to activate this and look at this. All the squids are just like flying up to the sky. Look at them. <laughs> Bye squids. <laughs> it's just so cool to see this again. If any of you have played Minecraft back in beta, uh, when squids used to have lag issues and sometimes you'd just be sitting in your house and then a squid would fly past your window, <laughs> well now you can finally do this again. <laughs> it's not lag though this time, this is actually an item and look at it, all the squids are just rising up, they just keep going and of course every time one spawns they just float straight up into the sky. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to deactivate it now and let's see if any squids fall, they've probably all died by now, look at it, <laughs> three squids just fell from the sky. Of course they're not going to take any fall damage because they are squids and they're landing in their natural habitat which is water, <laughs> but it's still fun to watch just squids flying up into the sky and I think the other ones might have died because they went so high 
die that they uh, didn't have any oxygen that they'd normally get from the water, and then they just died. And I don't even see their dead bodies, which is a bit of a shame. They're just lost in space somewhere up there. Uh, but it does also affect other mobs. As you can see, when I started this video, there were loads of mobs around here, and now they're all dead because they must have came hurtling back down to the ground and then died of full damage. <laughs> what we need to do is we're just going to spawn a pig and then activate this. See the pig flying up into the sky here? It's just going to keep floating up and then if we deactivate it, it's going to come cratering down to the ground and die, giving us some lovely bacon there. So that's how that item works. And finally, just before we move on to the next mod, I'm just going to get rid of this gravity anchor out of my inventory and then activate this again. So now I've activated it, all of those squids are just going off, look at that, I'm joining the squids. My planet needs me. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm just floating off into the sky. And yeah, if you deactivate it, you're just going to go hurtling back down towards the ground. Like these squids. <laughs> Yay. Oh no, they're all suffocating. No, get to the water, save the squids. <laughs> and yeah, they're back down to the water of the ground. It's just so fun to do that. And you can see there... It's all back to normal once I deactivate the gravity controller. And now you see why you need that anchor item, because without it, you just go floating off and you don't get to enjoy the pleasures of watching mobs fly up everywhere. <laughs> it's just so fun to do. So now we're going to move swiftly on to the second part of this mod showcase where I show you the second mod in this gravity mod showcase, which of course is called the gravity science mod. And whereas the first mod just added handheld items, which enable you to uh, change gravity on the go, these are blocks which you place down and impact on gravity in different ways, but in a specific radius. If you're outside that radius, these blocks will not affect you. Anyway, to show you these items, I've gone back to my ancient testing facility. We made this 20 years ago, but sadly we got shut down by a higher authority that deemed our tests on villagers to be barbaric. <laughs> it wasn't our fault though, it was the villagers' fault for not taking precautions and not wearing their gravity boots. <laughs> but pretty much what happened is, we were testing out some low gravity blocks, and some villagers decided it was a good idea to activate it without any safety equipment, and they went flying off into space and were never seen again. They're probably orbiting round the planet right now as we speak dead and lifeless. I know it's such a cheery thought but as a result of those experiments this place was shut down but I've snipped back in now and we're just going to show you some of these items that we were developing. So first up we have the Gravitor testing facility. This is probably my favourite and this block here is the Gravitor block. And if you're wondering how you craft this, if you want to like test this out on yourself, well, I wouldn't recommend it, very dangerous. But you're going to need four iron ingots and redstone, as well as a compass in the centre there. So, once you've crafted this, you just place it down and then activate it with a redstone signal to activate this block. But be careful that before you activate this, you craft yourself some gravity boots. And to craft some gravity boots, you're going to need two iron ingots and this block here called an attractor. And you're going to need two of those attractors, and I may as well show you what the um, crafting recipe for these attractors is now. So you're going to need four redstone dust, four iron ingots, and then again a compass in the centre. Uh, and then you can craft yourself some gravity boots. And make sure you equip these, or you can hold it in your hand. As long as you're holding it in your hand, or you've got it equipped in the correct armour slot in your inventory, then you're not going to be affected by any of these blocks. And look at that, my legs have disappeared. Yeah, that's an unfortunate side effect of these gravity boots it does deem the users legless. No, no, it's just got a really black texture. And you can see there, I'm wearing some black, like, pants. <laughs> oh, wow, it looks like a dress. Wow, I look so fetching in that. Oh, dear. Okay, so don't worry, you're not legless. You still have legs, it's just a very dark texture. So, yeah. That is not a side effect of these um, boots. Don't worry, you still keep your legs. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to activate this item now. Just activate the Gravitor. You can see it illuminates, just like Glowstone. And then once it's active, it'll start affecting mobs in the radius around it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get some mobs now. Oh no, I've got rid of my boots. I must reattach my boots. No. <laughs> oh, I changed my item slot, so I got rid of my boots. But you can see here I've got some gravity boots. And as soon as I hold them in my hands, I fall back down to the ground. And then when I let go of them... I'm starting to get affected by this gravitor, which is quite neat. So yeah, that shows you how these boots work anyway. Uh, but as you can see, while I'm in the radius of this gravitor, I am starting to float. And as soon as I go outside the radius, which is about here, I fall back down and then I fall back into the radius and then I end up having like a flotation effect on me. So I'm just floating in the air now, going up and down, bobbing up and down. Yay, <laughs> having fun, just chilling in the air. But we want to test out uh, this item on some mobs. So we're just going to fall back down to the ground and put these gravity boots on. So, what should we test this out on? I think we should send some more unsuspecting villagers up into space. <laughs> Bye, villager. 
Oh, he's just floating up into the sky. Oh, it's so weird. I just love this mod. It's so fun to do. Just see, like, mobs floating up into the sky. It's just so fun. Look at that villager go. Bye. <laughs> oh, uh, I may want to note that we did have to change this after the uh, accident. So instead of shooting everything off into space, it now has a range. So it'll only affect... Uh, entities in a certain range which means no more floating villagers in space like orbiting the planet which is quite useful <laughs> what else should we test it on pigs yeah let's just place down some pigs floating bacon you could use it as target practice let me just get a bow and arrow look at this I'm gonna get a bow and some arrows uh, like so, I don't know if you actually need arrows in creative mode, but let's try it. So we'll just shoot some pigs. Oh, look at that. And even the item drops are floating. Look at that. The um, pork is just floating in midair. Am I going to shoot the villager by accident? Oh, good. Look at that. <laughs> oh, the pig died. But look at that. The item drops even float. That's awesome. Uh, I don't think it affects arrows, does it? What about if I put the... Oh, it does. Look at that. The arrow's floating. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So you can see it affects anything that's an entity. And of course, item drops are an entity. Arrows are an entity. And villagers. Poor villagers. Uh, but other things that are affected, of course, are chickens. And you know how chickens in real life don't fly because they're too heavy and their wings can't support their weight when they're trying to fly. Uh, but now, thanks to this low gravity mod which enables things to fly, now chickens can finally develop the ability for flying. Look at that. We've just got a flying chicken next to that villager and they don't seem to give a damn. That villager's like, oh, not again. This happens every time I come to this facility. Oh no, oh no. I, oh, I'm a terrible villager. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to show you to do with the gravitor and of course as soon as you turn it off everything just comes crashing down to the ground and the chicken just gracefully floats down look at that yeah looking looking at you now smug chicken did you have fun well you're not going to survive now i'm going to kill you bye chicken <laughs> i can have that for dinner so now let's move on to the next thing and i've just realized something wow i'm so dumb i i didn't put a button to exit this place i can't even get out oh well break the door down <laughs> I'm not using this place after this anyway. So, now let's just go over to the other side where we've got a special item called the Directional Gravitor. So yeah, let's just go in here. I've just changed my inventory over so I've got this block in my hotbar so I can show you how this works. So this um, Directional Gravitor only has one active side and you can see it's the top side and this looks exactly the same uh, as the Gravitor block over there but the side textures are different because the only active face is the top one. And if I activate this now, like so, you can see well, I can just walk around the side perfectly fine because it's not got any active sides around the side. Uh, but as soon as I stand on top of it, uh, wait, have I got the gravity boots on? That would explain everything. You can see there, I'm floating off into the sky, but as soon as I go to the side of it, I'm no longer being impacted by this block, which is quite cool. So if you only want it to work in one face, in one direction, then this is a very useful block for you. And if you're wondering how you can craft this thing, to craft it, you just put a compass, two iron ingots, and then redstone below the compass. So it's a little bit of a cheaper crafting recipe compared to the Gravitor on its own. And if you're wondering how you place it down in different orientations, uh, all it does is it faces the direction that you're pointing at it. So if I place it down here, it's going to face towards me. If I jump and place it below me, it's always going to face towards me. And that's how you can change the orientation. So it pretty much works the same as stairs do. So, there's not really much more to show you about this, it's just the same as the gravitor block, just in one direction only. So, let me just go back to where I've got mobs, uh, I'm just going to activate this now, and then spawn a mob there, and you can see the chicken is being affected there, and if I push it, it's going to fall back down to the ground again, and then leave me, because it was no longer being affected by this directional gravitor. But now let's go on to some more interesting blocks. So, next up we have the attractor testing facility, and this one's quite long, I had to make it quite long because I need the space to demonstrate these things. So on the left here we have the omnidirectional attractor, and then on the right we've got the unidirectional attractor, which only works on one face, and currently I've got it pointing this way. So, we're just going to start off with the omnidirectional one, so when I um, turn this on, like so, you can see I instantly get sucked towards this block, it acts like a point gravity source, so everything in the surrounding area in about a 12 block radius will be pulled in towards this um, block, which is quite neat, but I'm just going to deactivate it now. Uh, what also I am going to do is I'm going to get myself some gravity boots again, uh, here we go, got some gravity boots, I'm going to hold them in my hand and then walk away and what I'm going to do, let me just turn it back to daytime, we don't want it to turn to nighttime, but I'm going to stand here and let go of this, you can see I'm not being affected by it at the moment, uh, I'm just going to keep walking closer and see where the point is where I get affected by it, so you can see I'm starting to get affected by it now, it's very weak at this point because the gravitational force decreases the further away you are from it, uh, but as I get closer I'm going to accelerate and accelerate and get faster and faster until I get to the centre and just stop, because that's the centre of the point and I've just hit the block and I can't even jump, it's that strong, it's such a strong force, I can't even walk this way, I'm just stuck on this block. 
Uh, but let's just hold these gravity boots in my hand. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how it works uh, in the other faces. So I'm just going to activate it again. I don't know why I disabled it. I'm just going to stand up here and get rid of these gravity boots. You can see I'm not being affected at the moment. But as soon as I start going down, uh, you can see now I'm being pulled in. <laughs> Even though I'm in creative and flying, it's still pulling me in. Look at that. I'm going down, down, faster, faster. Bang. And I can't even jump anymore. It's, it's just such a strong force. And it works on every single face in the same way. So that's how that one works. And I showed you how you could craft these attractors earlier on when I was showing you how to craft the gravity boots. But if you forgot, let me just show you again. That's how you can craft it. But now let's move on to the um, unidirectional attractor, which I haven't shown you how to craft. This one's just crafted using three redstone, two iron ingots, and then a compass in the center there. And you can see there, it's just got the same texture uh, for the inactive faces, and then the same texture as the attractor for the active face. We're just going to... Um, Turn this on, and you can see it works in this um, side of the block, but when I stand on top of it, I'm not being affected by it anymore. Uh, but as soon as I stand in front of it, it's pulling me towards it. So it's just one face being active in this case, and this one is all of the faces. But let's just leave this place now, and go on to the final block that this mod adds. Yes, we have the repulsor block. Now this one's pretty much exactly the opposite to the attractor block. It just pushes you away instead of attracts you towards it. So let's just go in here, and again we've got the super long room. So, up here we have the repulsor block, and this one, I may as well show you the crafting now, is crafted using four iron, and then four redstone, and then the compass in the center. Pretty much very similar to the attractor, like swap over the um, iron and then the redstone. That's how it's crafted. So, yep, this is what it looks like. It has a blue dot instead of the red dot of the attractor, and when we actually activate this, we get pushed away from it. It's pushing us away. And you can see, as soon as I stop moving, that's the maximum range of this item. I think it is around 12 blocks. So we just stopped here on this block, but let's just go up here and see if it pushes me away. You can walk into it, but there comes a point where you just can't walk anymore. Even if you sprint, you can't get any closer to this thing. It's just too powerful pushing you away. But it does mean we can deactivate it. Oh, whoops, I've just placed down another one. We can deactivate it on the go because you can walk close enough to it. It's not that strong. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try one of the other sides. Now we're just going to uh, stand on the top face. And look at that, we've just got pushed over the wall. Yay, freedom, escape, run away. <laughs> and you can see I'm even being affected by it when past the wall. Look at this, I'm trying to walk closer to it. But it's really hard, I'm getting pushed away. I'm not even moving and I'm getting pushed away. So it does work through walls. You could hide this under the ground to like troll people on a server and push them away randomly like what is happening? The gravity's just changed in this location. <laughs> but let's just get back in there and see if we can get close enough to it to turn it off. Look at that. So I was just demonstrating there that it works on all different sides, uh, which is really cool. But now let's go on to the final item, which of course is the directional repulsor. And this one is crafted using three iron and two redstone dust and then a compass in the center like so. And then when I activate this one, you can see it works on this side, but if I go over here, it's not affecting me at all. And that's how it works. But let's just test these out on some mobs now. So let me just get, I don't know, some chickens or something like that. I should probably get some gravity boots and equip them so I don't get affected by this thing. Let's just uh, equip them in my correct armor slot, like so. Let's go a bit closer and then place down a chicken. Look at that, the chicken's just been blown away. Really high powered fan, this is pretty much like. And the villagers going and the creeper. Yeah, bye creeper. <laughs> and then the pig. So yeah, it does work on all of the mobs in Minecraft. Does it even work on entities? What about if I just drop an item? Yep, <laughs> it pushes the items away. Wee, that's so fun, look at that. What about a bow and arrow? Uh, did I have a bow and arrow anywhere? Let me just get a bow and arrow. Uh, bow, and then get some arrows, like so. And now, oh whoops, I just replaced my um, arrows over the bow. Okay, here we go, bow again. So let's just fire the bow at this thing. <laughs> did you see that? It's like bounces the arrow off and it just goes all, all the way over there. That's so cool. I mean, imagine trying to hit a mob with this thing. Just bounce the arrow off and then try and aim at a mob. Come on, uh, it's not gonna work. And that brings me to another point, and that is how beautiful this seed is. <laughs> I've got the Biomes of Plenty and mod installed, if you're wondering what this is. And this is a volcanic biome, I believe. And then we've just got this, like, plains biome in the center of these volcanoes. It just looks so epic. And we've got the lava streams going down, or lava waterfalls, I should say, <laughs> that are going down from the top of the volcano all the way down to the plains area. <laughs> and there's some more lava over there. And then we've got the ocean. 
And that's a really weird shape. Look at that. We've just got like this headland here. <laughs> and then some bays. It just looks so cool. I just love this seed. I will put the seed in the description for you if you have biomes of plenty for 1.7.2 and you want this awesome seed. So yeah. But yeah, that pretty much sums up everything in this gravity mod. I've shown you all the cool blocks and all the cool items that this mod adds into the game. It enables you to change gravity and do some really wacky and cool things. <laughs> but there is one more thing I do really want to do. So I'm going to activate this graviter and I'm just gonna spawn down a load of creepers look at this okay wait activate it again yes <laughs> accidentally switched the lever look at that so many creepers just floating off into space oh this is amazing <laughs> oh look at them they're all going what is going on guys what is going on S boom <laughs> I wonder if it actually blows up so what about if I go in oh this is gonna be this is gonna be explosiony goodness this is I'm just gonna stand here and I'm gonna go into survival Oh no, it didn't work. Come on, float me back up there. Come on. Why am I doing Star Wars? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> get back up here. <laughs> da, boom! <laughs> it's like fireworks with creepers. I was doomed to fall by a creeper. <laughs> oh, that was sick. That was awesome. And now my head's in the clouds. Quite literally. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. This is the Gravity Mod. Well, should I say the Gravity Controller and the Gravity Science Mods. Thank you for watching, everyone. And if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and smash that like button. And as always, I'll be seeing you next mod showcase. Wee Splat.